Aww, animals. Alligator meets its match, a 10-year-old girl. 10-year-old Juliana Ozo from Florida survived an alligator attack by prying open the reptile's jaws with her bare hands. How gnarly is that? Ozo was with her family at Lake Mary Jane near Orlando on Saturday, May 6th. She was sitting in shallow water in a designated swim area when an alligator surfaced and chomped on her knee and calf. Remembering a trick she'd learned while visiting Gatorland, Osa poked the gator in its nostrils. She then pried the gator's jaws open with her bare hands to free her leg. Osa was later taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening puncture wounds. The gator was estimated to be eight feet, nine inches long. After the attack, it was spotted in the same swimming area and was then captured by Florida wildlife officials. A Gatorland representative said it was a miracle that an animal with one of the strongest bites on Earth released the kid, and they're very proud and happy that Osa learned how to do it at Gatorland. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Keep watching for more videos about kids who are smarter than you. YouTube's at least good for something. An Ohio boy proved that neither age nor a lack of a driver's license should stop you from satisfying an intense craving for fast food. The eight-year-old's deep hankering for a cheeseburger prompted him to look up how to drive on YouTube. While his parents were fast asleep, the kid got the keys to his dad's locked van and took his four-year-old sister on a short drive to the nearest McDonald's. Amazingly, the boy didn't hit anything along the way. He followed traffic rules and seemed to drive a hell of a lot better than most adults. McDonald's workers thought they were being pranked when the kid and his sister pulled up in the van, but it soon became clear they were unsupervised minors. After a cop arrived to talk to the boy, the kid realized he might be in trouble and burst out crying. The authorities were more amused than anything else and won't be filing any charges. The kids were later picked up by their parents, but only after they'd had their fill of cheeseburgers, fries, and nuggets. And even though the boy might still get grounded for life, at least he got his fast food dreams fulfilled. Brave teen escapes kidnapping by copying crime movie tricks. Who says you don't learn anything from watching movies and television? This 13-year-old Chinese boy escaped being kidnapped by using strategies he remembered from watching movies where characters were kidnapped. On September 24th, he was on his way to school when the kidnapper grabbed him and threw him in the back of a minibus. The teen was taken to this abandoned building. His hands and feet were tied up and his mouth and eyes were covered with plastic and tape. The kidnapper called the boy's parents and had him tell them that he'd been kidnapped and not to call the police. He demanded a ransom of 130,000 yuan, or the equivalent of around $20,400. In his first escape attempt, the boy waited for the kidnapper to leave and untied himself, but he was quickly caught and tied up again. Success came the second time when the kidnapper left again. The boy shouted to see if he was still around before getting up and leaving while still bound and gagged. He made it to a residential area where motorists were reportedly too scared to stop, but someone finally did, and the boy was rescued from the ordeal. The kidnapper was arrested the same day at a cyber cafe. He admitted kidnapping the boy and blamed the crime on his financial woes. When asked how he escaped, the boy said, the movies taught me to cooperate with the kidnapper to buy more time and wait calmly until there's a chance to escape. Boy camps out in Walmart undetected for over two days. Walmart's slogan is save money, live better, and that's exactly what one Corsicana, Texas boy did. The 14-year-old constructed two secret compounds inside the 24-hour store where he remained undetected. His sleeping quarters consisted of a makeshift bed built behind boxes of baby strollers. Shoppers had no clue they were physically inches away from genius, yet mentally light years away from attaining it. The boy was able to eat just about anything he wanted on the Walton family five-finger discount card. Behind a wall of paper towel and butt wipe, he stored nutrition supplies and used diapers to avoid detection when going to the bathroom. A crack in the wall provided backside access to the juice aisle. He even scored a pet fish to keep him company. The natural master of disguise changed clothes every few hours to throw off anyone who might be tailing him. The boy was able to call the retail giant home for two and a half days. Eventually, Walmart staff followed a trail of trash leading to the boy's hideout and busted the runaway teen. 
Employees called police who delivered the boy into the custody of relatives. No criminal charges have been filed. So save money and live better on your next weekend vacation at more than 4,000 locations nationwide. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Two teens are accused of boosting a tractor trailer in Morristown early on Wednesday and leading police on a three-county chase, which ended with a crash in Knoxville. The two boys, ages 12 and 14, borrowed the truck from Universal Forest Products and exited action movie style by crashing through the gate. An officer saw the truck hit a curb at Hardy's and began pursuit, thinking it was a drunk driver. The boys then proceeded to speed down Highway 11E with the police in hot pursuit. Police laid spike strips near Jefferson Memorial Hospital, but the spikes only punctured one tire. The 12-year-old driver finally lost control and crashed the truck into a light pole while trying to take an exit ramp. Both boys were arrested and each faced 10 separate charges, including a felony.